Campus at KSU Stadium. These fans are raring to go. And now it's time for the coin toss. And it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. This one underway as the teams are lined up for the opening kick. He just drills this one. He's taken down at the 21. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Here's an opening. He's out to the 30. He's taken down at the 36-yard line. We talk about a dual-threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. Ready? They'll bring him down at the 38. Second and eight. Right, 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 right. Now he tries to buy some time. And he's going to call his own number again. Tackle at the 49. They'll get the first down. He made the correct decision to tuck it and go. From their own 49-yard line. First down. Fights forward to about the 49. three yards to get the first down here on third down he's under pressure and he is drilled the 38 yard line what is going on with his defense i mean don't get me wrong the offense is doing a nice job with first downs and they're executing well but the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive. Attack. Do some things to change it up. Take some risks. And at the 36. That's a gain of two on the play. That makes it Here's the eighth play of the series. Now we'll see how the backup can do after that injury. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game but they got excellent pressure on that play. So we're looking at another third down here. First and 10, ball on the 20. And they make the stop right around the 20. The D lineman wasn't letting anyone buy him that time. And the big fella did a heck of a job plugging up the hole where that play was supposed to go. This is the 11th play of this drive. that on the quarterback keeper. No gain on the play. That makes it third and 11. So far this drive, the defense has been unable to stop them on third down. The 10 throws it out right to the running back. And 
that sets them up for the first and goal. That's the third time they've converted on third down on this drive. When you can stay on the field in these kind of situations, you're doing something right. This is the 13th play of this drive. He's scrambling. And he's taken down around the one-yard line. Picks up five on the scramble. From the one-yard line, second down. Backup quarterback into the game now to call the signals. Throws incomplete. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. This is the 15th play of this drive. Great job of finding the space to run and just bursting in for six. And he tacks on the extra point. A long 15-play, 81-yard drive. And a touchdown to result. The score now, 7-0. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. TCU staff and their fans have heard all week long their quarterback's going to play terribly on the road. I think their staff's got them ready to prove them wrong right now. I, I think this staff really has rallied this entire team around some of that negative talk. And I think they believe in their guy that he can go on the road and make the plays and lead them to a big victory. I, you know, sometimes when you hit some adversity like that, you see teams circle the wagons. I, I really believe this week they've done a great job of doing that. Now they just have to go out and execute the plan and go out and win this game. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Pass is tipped away. It looked like the quarterback thought he had an open receiver there, but I don't think he saw the linebacker. tailback and he's level at the 32 fourth down upcoming as they go three and out you always like to move the ball at least past midfield if only to win the field position battle the defense wasn't going to give them anything on that try makes it out to maybe the 40 yard line The last time we saw this offense on the field, they drove the length of the field. And you think back to what that defensive coordinator tried to do. He tried to change some things up, but nothing seemed to work. It's going to be interesting to see how he can have an impact on this drive. From their own 41-yard line, second down. Kansas State is up a score. Quick throw, and he shoved out of bounds at around the 50. That makes it first and ten. Not a lot of offense in quarter number one, but nonetheless, we've got a close game. The Wildcats with a touchdown lead. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Gets out to around the 28. Nothing tentative on that run at all. He looked very determined and got the first down. From the 28-yard line, it's first down. Tackle 
tackle made at about the three-yard line. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. Receiver for the touchdown. These guys need to be aware this aerial attack is capable of making some big plays. They've got to get on their toes. And he converts the extra point. So a six-play, 60-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Brad, not only did they put points up on the board, but I think it's the way they did it. That could be demoralizing for defense. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He'll return it from the four-yard line. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Tackled after a decent pickup. That's a deep five on the play. That brings them second and five. From their own 31 yard line. Second down. Quick strike to the back and he drops it. It's a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. That makes it first and ten. From their own 47-yard line, first down. He scrambled. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. Slides down to the ground. That makes it second and two. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. And he's finally taken down at the 12-yard line. So they pick up big yards on the option keeper. I thought he's going to break that one for a touchdown. You couldn't draw that up any better. First down and 10 to go after the big gain on the run. He'll get the call again. He's going to try and scramble. Slides down. The quarterback picks up around six yards on the scramble. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Taken down just outside the goal line. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Puts it right in his hands. Touchdown. This entire group functioned so well as a unit, and you saw it on that touchdown. Very good team effort. And he hits the PAT. A nice nine play, 73 yard drive, and they put up seven points. So our score 14 7. TCU kicked this one off.
And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Kansas State is up seven. Quick release, tight end, incomplete. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Short pass, middle of the field. They'll bring him down around the 28-yard line. And he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. Ready! Work on. He's on the run. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. TCU's gotten the play out of their quarterback, and you expect that that was going to happen. But, I mean, what is happening here? Somebody else is going to have to come to the forefront, or this thing's going to be over. If you would have told me before the game that this quarterback would have played like this to the first quarter and a half or so, I would have thought this team would have been leading this game. But you're right. Something has got to happen where the, his teammates, the rest of this group, they've got to raise their game if they want to have any chance of winning this game. Second and, Second and ten. Ball on their own 43. Swings it to his tight end, but he drops it. Throws it to the outside. It falls incomplete. Well, that was clearly a poor read on somebody's part. And the bad news is there was no defender around. If the pass was anywhere near him, it could have gone for a big play. He really got a hold of that one. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Kansas State is up by a touchdown. He gets rid of this one. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 20. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. He's out to the 30. Tackle at the 37. First and ten. Ball on the 37. Pulls it in and stopped in his tracks with that tackle. The Wildcats will use their first time out of the half. their own 37 yard line third down they come out in an empty backfield he's tackled in the open field I know the defense would have liked to have prevented such a big game but the important thing is that they held and brought up fourth down He'll take it from the 18. They'll bring him down at the 26. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And down he goes around the 29-yard line.
from their own 29 yard line. Second down. A great first half comes to a close. 14 7, Wildcats. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Ball security was a major theme coming into this game and both offensive coordinators have to be thrilled with the fact that their offenses first and foremost did a good job of taking care of the ball. And you don't see it every game, that's for sure, that both teams don't have a turnover at the half. And you usually see those critical mistakes that set up a short field for you to take advantage of. And, and it's definitely nice. It's nice to be able to put in a plan all throughout the week and to be able to execute it and not to be able to make those big mistakes. Because coaches will tell you, it's those big mistakes that kill you. It's okay to be rushed in the pocket as a quarterback and then throw it to your mom in the third row. Don't throw it in harm's way. Both quarterbacks done a good job, and as a result, both teams with zero turnovers in the first half. Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. Got a good, a lot of good games going. We're locked and loaded. We got all the big screens going. You're gonna be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. We're loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. They stinky? Yes. Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Kansas State's continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. And I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. And they got him for a loss. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on their own 24. Fires quick out to the receiver and he can't make the grab. catch he is such a reliable target you throw it anywhere near him and this guy's gonna get his hands on it and make a catch we've got a first and ten ball on their own 38 knocked out of bounds at the 49 yard line first down Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. The ball was underthrown. It was a good read. He just needs to find his rhythm back there and step and throw the football. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 49. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. First down. Slings it. From the 30-yard line, it's second down. The halfback with a carry. And he's tackled around the 27-yard line. It's the ninth play of the drive. Brought 
brought down at the 16. Gain of 11 yards. That makes it first and 10. From the 16 yard line, first down. Bring him down behind the line. That brings up second and 13. This is the 11th play of this drive. And he's taken down at the 22 yard line. Just nowhere for the ball carrier to go as the linebacker met him in the backfield. Boy, what great play recognition by this linebacker. He saw the run was coming, and he just shot through the gap and made a great tackle. They've looked good so far on third down on this drive. Let's see what happens here. Looks for the tight end, but they can't hook up. That makes it fourth and nine. Kicks away, and he's got it. TCU, the kick. He's to the 20. At the 30. He gets hit out of bounds. Around the 42-yard line. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Kansas State is up four. And they make the stop at the 37-yard line. down 10 yards to go ball on the 37 takes it up the middle for a nice run that'll make it second and four him down for a loss he had nowhere to go on that option play boy you're right he's lucky he held on to the football there third down and they need to get it to the 27 five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun zips it to the back lost the ball one's recovered by the cornerback. Funny, because you usually don't see corners down there picking up loose balls. They're more worried about interceptions. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. He has some room. So he keeps it and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. field and they finally knock him out at the 30-yard line that makes it first and ten
First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 30-yard line. And he shoved out of bounds at the 16-yard line. Now he's scrambling. He's tackled at about the 13. And he didn't get much on that scramble before they drilled it. Brad, that's a great way for the quarterback to get himself injured. He needs to be a lot more careful out there. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 13-yard line. The Wildcats lineman coming off the field with an injury. A tough character down there, and I would imagine he's going to be back in this ball game before it's over. Nice run, and he's brought down. Game of five yards. That'll bring up third and two. We head to the final quarter, and we've got a great game on our hands. The Wildcats lead it by four. Well, this final few minutes is going to determine this one. Tight ball game. Action set to start here in the fourth quarter. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. He makes the PAT. A seven-play, 76-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, this is where stars are born. We're early in the fourth quarter. They're behind, but they've got an opportunity to take the lead. Gets to about the 27-yard line. From their own 27-yard line, second down. tailback on the screen tackle made at the 26 yard line drop back a yard not much going on there those kind of plays will not work against this defense you can be sure of that Watch out, they're going to bring the heat right here. Not great, but not bad either. As long as your main priorities are not turning the ball over and establishing solid field position, then you're headed in the right direction. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Great job by the quarterback. He had a slant called against zone coverage and threw it at the perfect time. First and 10, ball on the 38-yard line. TCU holds a field goal lead. Run up the middle. That's a genius second. That'll make it second and four. Roger, Roger. Hey, check back, check back, five, six, five, six. Here we go. Here we go. Red, eight, three, five. He's taken down at the 35 yard line. The D line did a good job of nullifying out the blocks up front, and that allowed the linebacker to roam free and make the tackle in the backfield. 
Third down, and they need to get it to the 28. play action stays in bounds and made a nice catch what a relief it is for a quarterback to know that he's got a receiver like this who can step up when he needs him on third down first and ten ball on the 25 yard line Two yard line. Just about three yards there. It's a nice catch by the junior wide receiver, but an even better effort by the defense to keep him from going anywhere. Just over two minutes in the game. Inside the 10. Nice play to set up first and goal. The defense doesn't seem to have an answer right now. They might need to change up some of their schemes. First and goal from the five. They're knocking on the door. Steps out right around the two-yard line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Here's the handoff, and he's taken down for a loss. The D lineman wasn't letting anyone buy him that time. Yeah, the big fella did a heck of a job plugging up the hole where that play was supposed to go. The offense didn't get the playoff in time. Delay of game, offense. Just under two minutes in the game. And he hits the PAT. A nine play, 53 yard drive. And it's good for seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Let's see what they can do on offense as they take possession after the return. Well, we're under two minutes to go in this game, and this offense is down by two possessions. The defense knows that if they can come up with another stop, this game is over. Caught, and he's hit immediately. And he stops the clock with a spike. From their own 28-yard line, third down. Screen pass. He's got his half back. He 
he's going to go for the home run. The defender had it and then dropped it. Great reaction to get his hands in the way of that pass. That's not an easy play to make. That makes it second and ten. From their own 39-yard line, it's second down. He's under pressure. Quick strike to the receiver. And now the ball is loose. It's picked up by the defense. They'll bring him down right around the 44-yard line. It's not like receivers don't practice hanging on to the ball all week. This is just a case of the defense creating a turnover. This offense threw the ball extremely well on their last drive, and they ended up with a touchdown. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receiver. Right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. Second down and 12. Ball on the 42-yard line. Under a minute left in the game. to about the 44-yard line. That's going to do it for this one. Our final score, 24-14, TCU. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.